This is Breaking News. I'm Robin Nance with the very latest on a police officer shot in Coeur d'Alene this morning, listed in critical condition. Shooter, we're told, is in custody. This all got its start around 1.35 this morning in the 2800 block of Wilbur Avenue. Here is the officer who was shot. This is Sergeant Greg Moore, a 16-year veteran of the police force. Now, this is the man that police say shot him, Jonathan Renfro. He is in custody, and he has quite the criminal history. Our Casey Lund at State Line, where roads are blocked. Police, again, uh, that's where the search ended for that shooter. That's right, and really, Robin, this is where we started our coverage. This is where police asked us to be, and then, of course, as we learn more, we sent our crews, uh, Derek, out to Kootenai Hospital, where that officer, as you said, is in very critical condition this morning. Jeff Humphrey covering the scene uh, where it all began at 1.30 this morning, but take a look here. You can still see heavy police presence, multiple agencies. This is the exit at Point Parkway, just east of uh, the Walmart and the Cabela's here at, in Post Falls, and and this exit is still closed. You cannot access those businesses, the Walmart and the Cabela's, um, through here, through I-90. I-90 is open in both directions, and the scene uh, has calmed down quite a bit here. There were some uh, police officers uh, in the westbound lanes, and that was causing a little bit of congestion. But as you can see now, uh, this is live, I-90. It's flowing just fine. Uh, but earlier this morning, and we'll get some of that video uh, up as soon as we can of the very frantic search for that gunman. Uh, they had a helicopter here, multiple agencies, Spokane County Sheriff's, Washington State Patrol, but really the Coeur d'Alene Police Department, the managing agency, releasing new information this morning, uh, as well as the Idaho State Police. Um, we'll have much more from this scene, but again, just avoid this if you don't have any business here. They are letting employees of those businesses uh, through. Robin? Our Casey, thanks so much. And this all got its start in a neighborhood, a quiet neighborhood. Our Jeff Humphrey is there in the 2800 block of Wilbur Avenue. Jeff? Robin, this is uh, Sunshine Meadows where a lot of people are waking up in their very nice neighborhood to find out that an uh, officer was shot here. No one we talked to so far this morning even had an idea that a shooting had occurred just outside their doors. We're not clear yet, Robin, on what type of call for service brought Sergeant Moore to this location. All we know from the officers here that he did make contact with Renfro and shots were fired. We were talking earlier about how bewildered we were not to be able to find the officer in question's patrol car. That now apparently because Renfro, after the shots were fired, stole Sergeant Moore's patrol car and then left the area. Idaho State Police, they've been processing this scene since about 2 o'clock this morning and just cleared the area. We know that they were very busy gathering ballistic evidence, marking the location of all the patrol cars that came out subsequent to Sergeant Moore getting shot. And then very sadly, the Coeur d'Alene Fire Department called here as the last task of processing the scene, Robin, to wash away Sergeant Moore's blood from the sidewalk you see behind me. All right, Jeff, thank you very much. And now that officer, Sergeant Moore, was taken to Kootenai Medical Center, Kootenai Hospital, which is where our Derek Dice is live. And we're also about, the, about just a few minutes ago, we heard from some of the officials there, Jeff. I mean. Yeah, Robin. Uh Mr. Renfro is believed to ha does have a criminal history. Was believed to be on felony probation, uh, parole, and his criminal history goes back to 2005. Arrested for trespassing and grand theft. Then in 2008, another uh, charge of grand theft and assault or battery, and also a misdemeanor theft in 2009. So he's been on police radar. You have to imagine for quite some time now. And again, Coeur d'Alene Police described this as basically a bad guy doing bad guy things and an officer doing what he was trained to do and that led to that shooting on the 2800 block uh, <clears throat> of Wilbur this morning again Sergeant Greg Moore a 16 year veteran of the force he is married with two children he is still in critical condition as they said fighting for his life this morning behind me at Kootenai Health live in Coeur d'Alene I'm Derek Dice KXOY 4 News